Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll see how to register microservices with Spring Cloud using Netflix Eureka. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javanews.com. So go to the Spring section. Here there is Spring Cloud. So this is the series that we are going to implement in this tutorial. Microservice registration with Spring Cloud using Netflix Eureka. So Netflix, uh, it provides various components which are used uh, during deployment of uh, Spring Boot microservices. Eureka is one of such components. It is used for service discovery and registration. So what is service discovery and registration? So let us first have an overview of what is service registry and uh, discovery. So as we uh, develop services, initially uh, we start off with some static configuration because the project is very simple. So we usually define properties in the application.properties file. However, as more services are deployed, things they get complicated. So with live systems, various uh, service locations, they may change. Some server may go down, uh, some other may come up. Uh, then this will require changes in the code or in the properties file. Now this can be very complex if a uh, lot of services are deployed. We'll have to go at each location and then change the server location. So this is where dynamic service registration and discovery it becomes so important. So let us take a we are going to take a very simple example here. We are going to have two services. One is the employer producer and the other is the employee consumer. So the employee consumer is going to use the JSON that is uh, uh, being produced by the employer producer. The employer consumer it will make use of the REST template to consume this uh, REST service exposed by the employer producer. Initially uh, the location of employer producer it will be hard coded in employee consumer but the next step that we'll take is we'll make use of the Eureka server and we'll see how this hard coding can be removed. So this tutorial we are going to divide it into three parts. The first one we are going to develop the services employee producer and employee consumer. In the second part we are going to uh, implement service registration for the employer producer part. So this is what we are going to do. The employee producer, we are going to register it to the U Eureka service registry. And then in the third part, we are going to register both the uh, employee consumer as well to the Eureka registry. So uh, if, you, if the employee consumer wants to consume this service, it will directly take it from the Eureka service registry. The advantage of this is that tomorrow if uh, the location of employee producer, it changes, there is uh, going to be no need for the code in the employer consumer to be changed. Also, if any other service it is uh, making use of the employee producer, we can register it to the Eureka service and uh, then there will be no change, uh, need to change that service as well. Also, uh, as we'll see in future tutorials, there are other advantages like load balancing and all that can be used for this. So in the next three tutorials, we'll be implementing uh, these three tutorials. Thank you.